In this video, we want to uh, save this table into an array and we want to loop on every uh, one of those um, columns. The idea here is going to be to display the header of uh, each column to uh, just make sure uh, that the uh, loop works. So to uh, do so, we are looking at using four uh, variables, one to identify the worksheet we're going to work in, the uh, last row and last column, so just to uh, be able to identify where the data is, and then saving all of this into uh, one array uh, underscore uh, data uh, variable. So first off, we're going to identify the worksheet here, set uh, WS underscore sheet equal worksheets uh, position number two. And then we're going to find the table's limits with the last row and last column. So the last row is going to be looked at from um, the perspective of the first column and then the uh, last column is going to look be looked at, at um, from the perspective of the first row. Then we save the uh, information uh, in the array uh, directly uh, using a range of cells, so from A1 to the end. And we're going to use uh, a for next uh, loop to loop on the columns, so we're going to do for j equals l bound array uh, data comma 2 so here it's very important to add this comma uh, and this number two. It is really to specify that we're going to do the loop on the columns and not on the rows. To you bound array data uh, comma two again. Here in between the four and next, you can actually add your code that you're going to uh, replicate every time uh, on every column. Uh, here we're just going to display a message box uh, just telling us uh, what is the uh, header of the column and the number of the column also at the same time. So here when I launch the macro, I can see the header of the column number one is name and the header of the column number two is number, which is accurate. So there again, you have it to do the uh, loop on the columns of an array. Uh, you're using this for next loop and most importantly, you're going to use L bound and U bound with this um, name of the variable, comma and the number two.